time We don't do no cap Report only facts Crackers report We got the news New interviews We got the stats Keep it a rack Come join the pack Know where we at We ain't stay at nine Tune in every time Hey, this your boy Master Jug, and shout out to Progress for going up. Hey. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. Boss with the most lit. What's up, it's DJ Excel? This is the Progress Report. I thought you was going to chime I in because I saw you. <laughs> I thought y'all, you know, but y'all liked it with your boy Master Jug. We had the Progress Report with it. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, that's what's up. And I was telling him, man, I ain't expect him to be that damn tall. You know, sometimes nah, taller than when I be doing my research to. and shit, I'm like, damn, I thought he was going to be an average size nigga. This nigga tall as hell. <laughs> she thought I was going to be mini me. Okay. <laughs> hey, you never know because sometimes we'll meet somebody and they short as hell. That's, like, true. that's me. You know, I feel like in Little pictures, Brit. I look. Taller she be telling people like, take hey, the angle like, up. Boss, like, look at this. Yeah. Right. Right. Look the same. right, catfish. I'm dead. And I welcome to the progress report. Yeah, welcome, man. How tall <laughs> are you? You used, six, to six. you used to play sports oh, or something? Oh, damn, you tall as um, Back in my junior high days. Oh, okay. Damn, right. junior high? Not like, like, even high school? school? <laughs> um, I played like elementary, little league, elementary, then middle school, like junior high. I got. Oh, yeah, that don't count. Shit. It don't count. <laughs> if it ain't in high school. up and start thinking about some other shit, huh? Nah, niggas got, niggas, that, when in junior high, what you get guns before junior high. Mm, you change your whole perspective on sports. Where the fuck I'm from? Okay. Yeah, man, that's Damn. fucked up. Sad. Right. Well, shit. Six, all that hype. Say right. right. no, right. 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 All that hype. It came to something. It was used for something. Okay. Look at us okay. like, uh, <laughs> what else? <laughs> well, you a whole bunch of women like, um, <laughs> right? Nah, nah, that's what's up though, man. But yeah, we definitely fuck with your music and shit, man. So for yes, sure, sir. welcome again. So you say appreciate you from it, appreciate uh, it. Mississippi? Yeah, Tuna could be his. Um, ah, cricket letter, cricket letter. Ah, paint the picture. I don't think I'm hip to that. Um, it's like, it's it's like. Where my where my investor from? It's like Coffeeville, but except we just got casinos and a little mm. extra outlets. That shit is just small, small ass dot. They gonna swindle some money out of you, but I mean it made me so it's lit. The casino, sure. nah. Yeah. When they bring that casino, that bring money in the <laughs> city, though. Yeah, do. Niggas be in their day. He like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I ain't never been to Mississippi. You yeah, ever seen uh? You ever seen P Valley? <laughs> yes. Cricket letter, cricket is that letter. a real? Is that a good depiction of uh Mississippi? Oh no, no. Just saying that because I have lesbian friends. I don't like using the word gay or dyke. But I'll I have lesbian you. friends. Respectfully. I have, I have lesbian friends. Oh, like, and I have gay cousins mm -hmm. or, you know, the men. So yeah. It's like, you know, yes, the respect. way they depict it, you know, the way they depict it, you know what I'm saying? It don't be like that. Like, yeah. every man is not because gay. I'm speaking for but, myself. But you know what? <laughs> but hold up. How do you know? How you know? Right. If they on the first, low, you ain't supposed to know. But first of all. I just read it. I speak for myself. <laughs> okay. But I'm speaking for culture because I know a lot of guys like me. But first of they all, they didn't down. depict every man. They depicted one man but, that but, felt but, like that. But, Why y'all feel like that? It wasn't even based off gays. It was no, mostly it was like straight. Pop and script club, I felt. Yeah. It, it one was one rapper. But I look at it like this, though. Okay. You're talking about Mr. Clifford. <laughs> Uncle Clifford, yeah. yeah. You got a man that's Not Mr. Clifford. That rapper. own a business that feel like he can seduce this guy. That Wait, they be he seduced the guy that the guy seduced him. Cause it I was the sworn the guy. The guy real. came on the Uncle Clifford. I'll be real. The, the, the show was so... LBGT to me, not that I'm against the movement. It wasn't something that caught my depiction. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Something okay. I don't want to watch. But I respect your terms you using here. Yeah, you know I, caught, I caught a couple um episodes of it. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? But I just didn't like when they got to saying that's the Mississippi movement. Right. Like, okay. But hold up, but I see what he's saying. But if we watch I any watch the episode. If we watch any T V are we gonna say that's too heterosexual? I'm gonna say this. <laughs> It's the one gay relationship. Overall, overall music got good height. I mean, the video got good height, good music, good energy. I uh, just my I sexual preference. Yeah. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with everybody else's <laughs> sexual preference. It and threw that's, you that's off. with it. It's just how they depicted certain men. It's not it's not the movie itself, it's social media. You know how social media added okay, to yeah, it. Yeah. So okay, like well, you know that's like Squid games. games, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like how they added to Squid Games, you know, it's just yeah, like, yeah. Shit, it gets like, squiddy. Yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> Did they even have any real like real Mississippi music on there? Oh, um, did y'all feel some kind of way about them not using mm, like y'all? It was a lot of it was a lot of Memphis guys up there. Um, I submitted my song, but it was too late, mm. 
And um, but you know, I look at it like look at look at me now. Okay, P Valley, they got a couple seasons coming up, but I'm here, I'm working, so okay. it's always time for me to get on TV. For sure. And I really ain't trying to get my song put on no television unless I'm getting paid. So I ain't got time for no free. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, but that's exposure though. Let's not like it's they, not you, they normally pay. It's though, right? cool. No, no but it, 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 yeah, it's cool. Too. But you know, like people be like exposure, but I be feeling like sometimes exposure. <laughs> I, I be feeling like sometimes they don't think about the the upcoming artists because yeah, true, true. because as well as y'all be saying. Yes, yeah, exposure, but I expose something because you know a little of me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm True. doing this and I'm doing that, so I'm putting money in what I'm doing. So I feel like even if you don't give me what you would go give money back, you all you give God, you bless me with something. Not just for off, sure. just, off, just because if I if I say, hey, I want I want progress report, y'all want y'all to come host y'all some shows in Mississippi. I'm not gonna say come do it for free, and I'm gonna make sure every rapper that comes, and I'm saying it on live television, yeah. they gonna come with a bag. But I, I bet you saying? also if if um. Money bag yard one of them said, Hey, will you open up for me for free? You will because they put you in front of a thousand more people than I'm you would ever this, be in front of. But let's be real. And we're gonna say this because you hear me. We're gonna yeah. be real. This TV. If another industry stranger walk up to you and he's not a notoriable person that you cherish to work with, it's gonna be a no. Simple. That that's also, it's simple. No, not saying it like it's about the money or it's about what it brings. I'm saying that if another person asks you, you're gonna think about your time. This is some valuable time. Like a person be saying, just like everybody, the word cap. People cap, like, yeah, it's gonna get you on. You know, I'm, I'm a rapper. You know how many people hit my DM every day? Fake say cheeses, fake dirty. No, I'm bathroom. talking about real opportunities, yeah, though. I was gonna it say, is it, scams, when, it's, it's, it is scams, but uh, yeah, whenever you do like a, a TV or a movie placement, though, you are supposed to get paid. For sure. True. And, but, but, you know, yeah. Yeah, but, Especially you know, I've never been like so. That. They definitely I never, paying. I, but, you know, I'm a original artist, so they're gonna have to use my beat and my ass cap and all that. <laughs> of course, of course. So well, so you gotta you, speak into it. Existence. Are you getting showcases as well? Um, no. I'm gonna say that because that's how I started. Mm -hmm. What that mean is I wasn't even old enough to be in strip clubs, but I was so connected and well respected with sure. the music. For sure. I was there. That's why he went to junior high? He was in the strip club. Nigga was in the. <laughs> No, I was Football. like that. Shout out to my big brother though. My big, right. my big brother, my big brother was like my big brother. I, I look at my oldest brother like my blood brother, brother to to Starsky. Like they like like them niggas already had juice. So just by me being they little brother, motherfucker want to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? That's just you know what I'm saying. Just like I, I, y'all, these niggas so 100. Like I want to see how you coming because you coming around these niggas and people trying to get around them. Yeah. So it just always had a. Just like shit, I'm Carl Kaepernick, little brother. I always got a free game seat. <laughs> okay. So it was just like I, I always had free game. So it was like I could never just abuse it. And then it's like you know that's come along with the secret hate because it's like damn, I want to be him. It's like everybody mm -hmm. want to be Rick Ross or Jay Z's son. If they feel like they could be it, it'll be it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Progress support. Yo, yo, so listen, y'all, right? You know, we always like to stay fresh, but we always like to progress. Yes. So, what better brand to wear other than great apparel? Absolutely. It's fly, but it also got a dope ass meaning. Definitely. So, they were started in 2016, so pretty much the brand is created for you to inspire others to be great. Yep, we got all different kind of pieces of merch, you know what I'm saying? We got the hats, we got the shorts. With the shirt set, and we fine. got them leggings for them. I think I want them leggings. I, I want it. I, I wanted a pair too. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I already got mine, y'all. I'm trying to be great. Tap in. Oh, let me get some. For that. Damn. So, how's the support in your hometown, though? Honestly, I'm gonna say this. With all due respect, it's better. It's getting better. Okay, good. But um, first. I went viral on the internet, so home sound support, I can't say, because I went viral on the internet, so it's mm. numerous people that's mixed emotions. Mm -hmm. So the hometown kind of follow after other folks fuck with me. That's how you know it what I'm saying? And it just, that is. serious, because I have a lot of rap friends that I know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that's in the industry that I know, I have style stealers that I know, but it's like, people never just embrace me, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll say something, or try to get cool with you, or oh, he bumping, I want a verse, but they using it for clout basis. They not using it as in all locked in. Like I got a couple rappers that me and them been cool since I came in the industry. We came in the industry together. We never had a song together. Flowers Double One on. We came in the industry, performed at the uh, Coca Cola Awards for artists at the BT Awards. This is back in 2018. We did this back in the gap. Like, and 
we never had a song with each other, but we was on the road with each other. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And real cool, can call him right now. But I feel like the relationships be really based off the connection. You know what I'm saying? And people that like, just like y'all, next time y'all see me, we building a bond just on live te nah, television facts. right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You would know someone off. Okay, big yeah, screen. you would know someone off just by being around them. You know what I'm saying? Really? So that's just how it is. Like I can read your vibe. I feel like all three of y'all good people. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good person. Like I, I feel like if I stand my hand, I hope, that, I hope we can get this to be TVH one. You know what I'm saying? Be okay. a calm contract or something. We just speaking like. into existence because I feel like they sleep on a lot of black owned things in life, mm -hmm. and I feel like we are rich slaves. And what I mean by that is mm -hmm. we are born with something that they take away from us. And I feel like we deserve a lot more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just by, I'm talking about from the people with no education. I feel like they use education. You need education. Don't get me wrong. Definitely. I feel like they use education as a slave tool for you. Like, mm -hmm. if you ain't got no diploma, you down there can't work at a job that you common sense to flip a bird. Nowadays, you can. Well, yeah. even, yeah. even yeah. the hood don't get good education compared to the suburbs. I'm going to say this right here, though. It's what you want. I mean, we got, we got, we let's speak up for our blacks. We ain't gonna speak up for serve, suburbs. Shout out to them in black mm -hmm. you from the suburbs and love, not against it. I'm not against nothing. But let's talk about the kids that come from nothing. And I know, I know me from one. Now I'm talking about, I got kicked out of school because of, you got kids that know you all your life that feel like they know you. Like, just like you know, everybody like, you got somebody that probably don't like you because you got this chain on your neck. You probably got somebody that don't like you just because you. You probably got somebody don't like you because you fine. You feel what I'm saying? Just being real. Y'all ladies, let's be real. You got a bitch watching your page every day talking about the nigga that you fucking with. He got a lot of examples. Like, like, I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? Because I, like I been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? So True. just seeing it like, they don't, people don't really fuck with you for real. They fuck with what you have to offer, just the moral of the story. Yeah, and right. it's like, nowadays, if it's not business, you got to make business connections so you don't even look like, it don't even feel like you being used with a person. Honestly. I look at everything as a business, relationships at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that shit expires sure. business. I see you in the grocery store with your new nigga. Hey, how you doing? What's up? <laughs> if you see me with my bitch, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, it's just everything business. And then people, people like, that's what, that, that's what a lot of people lack on. Respect, respect. Um, talk about COVID for you, man. I feel like that's what, uh, probably a time oh. where you came up mentally. Uh, according to all the stuff I got a been song through. called "Social Distancing and Quarantine." <laughs> Damn, that's and a long title. He got subtitles. Yeah, social distance. I use it because like everybody was using like quarantine mm. and then social distance. I was like, fuck no, it. That's facts. I'm gonna use the whole word together. <laughs> Put it together. You know what I'm saying? So, and it was like basically me comparing COVID to the trap. And it was like, you know, when I got shot, like I got shot like 2020, January, and um, like 26, 11 times, right? 11 times yeah. Uh, this is going on two years now. So um, it was like, I dropped my song 11 shots, like when I was getting well, but I wasn't walking. Yeah, that song, wow. And um, when I dropped the song, the song went haywire. I okay. couldn't do sh I couldn't anyway. do nothing. On top of that, I couldn't walk. Mm. On top of that, I'm just not getting back in the groove. And then when I'm getting back in the groove, it's like COVID hit. Boom! You can't even go nowhere. Club closed. Everything closed. You know, when they first hit, they had the world going crazy. Nah, no tissue, no nothing. So it really hit me different <laughs> no. because I can't walk. I'm Uber eating food. They eating out my shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, what the fuck is wrong, child? I, that was getting like I can't lie. My recovery process Gross. with COVID was fucked up, mm. but. Now, to be just moving around is like I said in my Dirty Glove Bassett interview, ain't nothing fiction over here. Like, I keep it real with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it made me a great person, just cherish life more as a young nigga. Like, I don't even look at niggas my age the same. Hmm. Because even when I was on that type of time and I wasn't on that type of time, we wasn't fucking the same females. We was, I was fucking females, they mama age, and we was doing different shit. Hello. So it made me, it made me just look at it made me look at life different because you got this average young nigga, he want total glide, he wanna be poo shots, he wanna be big third. Shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But he wanna be a gangster. Like, I feel like a gangster gotta be in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's some shit that gotta be in you. For sure. You niggas go watch Tupac and go watch Biggie and go watch all these interviews and go try to be like the next rapper and put all that shit in one and try to create mm. this mixed emotion image. Now you a mixed emotion gangster. Nigga just smack your sister. You crying finna go kill him. <laughs> well, you could have whipped his ass. Just being yeah. real. Yeah. Mm. So it, it don't make you no real nigga just by being, you know what I'm saying? By just, I feel like that shit just different. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything he different because people don't really have that mind frame just to grow. Like you, it, on on a bold basis, like you gotta grow, you gotta want better, and 
the maturity rate for me and people my age different. So how did your mindset change after you got shot that many times? Um, I look at it like this. Coming from where I come from, my cousin shot me and put it out there. Not on the snitch shit, just yeah, real yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just it made me lose trust, like uh-huh. with family. Like you know y'all was saying? cool before that. I'm gonna put it like this. We, you know how you got them cousins, just like the city, like East Side, South Side, mm-hmm. West Side, but it ain't like that in Mississippi because it ain't that big. But you got certain hoods in different sections. It's just they was in the sections that I just didn't. When mm-hmm. I come on that section, I fuck with them. But other than that, I'm in my section with these niggas. And they just then so happened just not to fuck with these certain niggas I fuck with. And they got into two with nice gunfire. I had nothing to do with what y'all got going on, though. I'm still in my section getting my money running with my niggas, though. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So when I see my cousin them, I see my cousin them. It's just that night. I don't know what took control of them. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak up for them. I can't. It just made me a better man. You know what I'm saying? Because I look at it like the envy and the envy rate be, look at Young Dolph. Like, like in the envies for real. You know what I'm saying? Like every rapper right now is like a real red bullseye. You know what I'm saying? Because you get money. You get money. You driving these cars. You fucking these women that these people is not dealing with. So you might have a sweater on that costs a motherfucker mortgage. You feel what I'm saying? Your shoe, your outfit alone is some shit that a nigga can't even get in a week. Mm -hmm. Let alone some shit that they can get in a lifetime. You might, your wardrobe might be a motherfucker lifetime. What they make in annual paychecks. Mm -hmm. So it's like they look at you as someone that a want and a need. You a habit to them. You a high. Like I look at, I look at. I feel like women and men. They look at celebrities as a high. Like they don't want to be like him, not knowing that he can die like you. He can yeah. get sick like you. He's you. Mm. He. It's just the status different. Just like she. Just like the government. The chain. Right. It's a. It's a different. You gotta check the pyramid, and people don't be paying attention to a lot of shit. So you gotta put everything in perspective. Is in like you gotta play everything close. You gotta play everything close. Like y'all, y'all a team. Y'all know y'all y'all know what can't nobody come in between this. Mm-hmm. And that's just how it is. Like you're gonna have to pick a side and stay there. And even not even just saying it, just to say it, like that's just even what happened with me. I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. I got shot up the next man beef. But make basically what they was trying to say is pick a side. You gotta stay there. That's just real. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah, now that song. Did your cousin know it was you? Or was it like, I was, this nigga tired, ain't no way that nigga ain't gonna see his ass, I'm, right? I'm, I'm fully clothed. <laughs> I hope you ain't had that yellow Damn, yellow that sweatshirt crazy. on. They definitely I had on some louder shit than this. Actually, I was fresh as hell. Like, like, actually, I, I was, had, I was like, mad like, as fuck. I was mad as fuck the nigga shot me. I said, man, why ain't you shoot me in no raggedy yeah. shit? Yeah. That shot me in no. I just had bought the outfit. Black Pyramid. I'll never forget it. Fresh as hell. Yeah. 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 Brown. How long it take you to learn how to um to walk again? Um, I'm going to say this. I give it like six months to a year. I'm still not always Jesus. right. I still have pains where I don't even want to get up. It be days this motherfucker don't want to work like mm-hmm. a phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm just be real because I, I don't have like rise in my leg. I recover naturally. So oh, who's shit. not to say that my bone not even all the way solid right now? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I just just take my medicine, my minerals. You know, eat good and just live. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I just feel like I got I got a purpose. I got I survive eleven shots. You got people that don't survive one. That's so, a fact. Hey, I'm, so I'm living. Look, we at the progress report. Okay. I'm with, I'm with Boss Brit, yes, and we going sir. up. Like it's just different. You know what I'm saying? So, Catfish I just Boss Brit. Come on, man. Period, man. So if people ain't heard you before, man, why should they listen to your music? I feel like I have a real versatile dynamic about myself, and I'm gonna use those words to sum it everything up because it's like I feel like I'm a real deal auto bio of everything. Like, it ain't nothing that I can't do with music. I can sing, I can rap. I, can, I'm, I ain't gonna say I can sing, I can harmonize great. I, like, I can get on some, no, I can harmonize great. You know what I'm saying? And, and I can I can, I can can make you listen to me. I'm gonna put it like that. I, I can make you gravitate to me. And I feel like a lot of rappers lose their touch because when they get on, life don't really hit different to them. It's all, it's all diamonds, bitches, designer, lambs, and hmm. Prada. It's like, like a song, you know. Designer Mitchell's yeah, Lance Prada, <laughs> and I feel like I feel like that's where we we put ourselves in those modes where we feel like we gotta go back to trenches and we put ourselves in harm's way. Like today, tragedy. You hmm. know what I'm saying? Like we feel like we be needing those modes to go back to making these folk feel you when that's some sh- be some shit that stick with you forever. You come from that, you shouldn't have to go back to that. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like 
the biggest thing that any rapper from me even getting shot in my hometown. So I know, like, shout out to Boosie. Boosie said it, like, your hometown gonna hate you the most because you got you don't know who love you and who hate you. They gonna all smile when you pull up in that lamb truck in the daytime. At nighttime, you gonna see them fries and them wolverines and them snakes. And he, can you handle it? You know what I'm saying? Just being real. And I feel like a lot of people can't handle it because they don't know how to move. Hmm. I just feel like moving 50 deep don't even help you. It's strategizing your move. Like by the time you've been to post it somewhere, you need to be already four, five counties over before you even posted this event you at. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just how you gotta be now. If you don't, hmm. You slipping. If you posting a, 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 if you giving a drop on yourself and you actually there, like Pop Smoke for example, come on man, you was actually there. He fucked up. He that was. You feel what I'm saying? Like you can't get no drops and you actually there. Like and I'm like I'm my security going. I've already been through it, so I ain't trying to go through it again. I, like I, like I said, I want to get rich. I got four siblings on my mama's side. I got my dad died when I was two, so I got like six, seven do- girls. He got. I'm the only boy yeah. on this side, so wow. if it's another boy, I never met him. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only junior that I know. And <laughs> got mad juniors, that's and, bad. And, 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 yeah. and it's like I feel like I got I got some I got mouth to feed, and I feel like that my music give you that that they the dude hungry. Like when you bump it, you gonna say dude hungry, dude wants something. Like mm-hmm. my my current man Katar HD, all them folks that hit me up. Like, I just linked up with AZ. Oh, you know, sure. I did it from the block while down here. All off me though. I ain't talking about. Not even exploring no business. You know, most people pay. Like, certain people don't even be charging me. And I be like, bro, what's up? We got the bread. The money not an issue. You know, they be like, nah, bro. It's just the issue. I bumped your music, bro. It gave me a different vibe. I'm like. Relationships, man. Yeah, like, he yeah. dropped the song. Like, right now, I had to get some lyrics changed out of one of my songs. We don't speak on all that. But just because I want to. You don't want to rub people wrong. You know what I'm saying? But, man. You said dyke or something? Nah, I'm some motion. Mo- mo- but, um. <laughs> But anyway, it's like he he sent the song. Long story short, to some people that's under a major label, mm. and they like, bro, dude, snapping. He on Facetime with me. We got on other phone with them, and they I'm listening to them talking about me. They talking about what they finna do for young boy for he leave this contract and go to Motown type shit. I'm like, like that shit is different just to hear your name in this type of category, and I ain't made it yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, but I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I, mm. I feel like I feel like I got a lot more to go. I feel I got a lot more to do, and I feel like that's where. Uh, Y'all play a part in it. Press is everything. And Media is yeah, yeah. very important. That's true. But, nah, you got a hell of a personality, though. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Um, and I, like I said, I fuck with your music, too. So Respect. Um, Respect. So, so what does the word progress mean to you? You know, that's our key word. We ask everybody that. Okay. Progress. It means endurance, stability. Um, I feel like it means to, like, overcome agility. Like, you have to really have to be a stable person. I feel like you have to be be an enhanced. You have to have dynamics. You can't be a stereotype person. Like you got to be straightforward. You got to be pre. Every step has to be calculated, and it has to be like everything needs to be different. Just not even because we can't use the word progress when we're talking about progress. So everything has to look like upgrade. Keyword. Mm. Everything <laughs> like upgrade. Keyword. Upgrade. I Remember like that. that. I like that. Okay. No, that's hard. That's hard. That's Master Jug, man, we appreciate you coming through, dropping yeah, them jewels energy, on us. Man. Hell yeah, keep that shit up. Yeah, there's some people we interviewed that been through things like that, and you can kind yeah, of tell in their energy. Though. With sure. you, you still seem very lively, which is really dope, and that's why I asked you, what have you learned from that? And you seem focused, so salute to you. Appreciate it, appreciate yeah. it. Damn right, well, let them know your social media. Where can they slide in them DMs? Hey, well, <laughs> don't slide on my DMs. I don't want no smoke. Look, but, hey, look. But, um. She messy as fuck. mom right there. IG. Right now. IG. Right. We can do I. It's a joke. Uh, nobody here is visible. But, um, uh, IG. M-A-S-T-E-R underscore J-U-G-G underscore CEO. And the. Facebook, J U G G K M P, that's the label, Jew account. And the rest of it is just you'll follow you when you once you click on one social media, the rest is in the bios, certain okay. bios. So y'all just look out. We got plenty of projects on the way. Like we said, progress poor live. So yes, and I'm telling what we dropping within within time like within twenty two. I right. probably drop four four videos that might not tell them, but oh, right now, I was looking, we here, we going plenty of places and we going up. Shout out to shout out to my table, shout out to my label, I mean Shout out to Starsky, shout out to my team, shout out to Jude Kim, shout out to Progress Report, I'm saying on live television. Y'all linking up with some real down to earth people. <laughs> this is not staged. Are you guys real <laughs> cool? You. And we locked in. Yes, sir. Sure, man. I, I'm fucking Aww, with you, dog. That's sweet. Hell yeah, man. Well, this is Progress Support, y'all. We'll be right back. Yes, sir. All right, you stay right there.
hold on. You still writing on this locker? Yes. Look, only the stars sign our locker. Come on, man. You know the vibes. All right, all right. Well, with that being said, we are looking for the dopest upcoming artists as well as entrepreneurs that want to tell their story and share their story with the world. Look, if you got what it takes, you need to pull up to the progress support. Mm-hmm. We need to take it to right here. Definitely. Hey, don't sign this again.